Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's been debated for years. Do you need an antivirus on Linux? Now, we all know that antivirus software on Windows has been a huge deal for a long time. But what about Linux? Stick around as we unravel the myths and realities surrounding antivirus on Linux. Before we dive deep into whether or not you need an antivirus for Linux, let's first understand what antivirus software actually does. You see, antivirus programs are designed to sniff out binaries and running processes for any signs of malicious behavior. But here's where it gets interesting. Antivirus software can be broken down into three main categories, static analysis, dynamic analysis, and extra features. Static analysis involves regular scans of your computer to identify files with known malicious intent or signatures. This could be done by comparing file hashes or analyzing system calls for snippets of code that are known to be harmful. Dynamic analysis, on the other hand, goes a step further by analyzing running software on your computer. This is crucial because modern viruses are often more complex and can hide themselves within multiple places across your system. And let's not forget about the extra features that some antivirus software offers. From real-time scanning of downloads and web pages to monitoring network traffic for known malicious patterns, these features are designed to provide comprehensive protection. But here's the big question. Do viruses even run on Linux? The short answer is yes. Linux is just as susceptible to malware as any other operating system. However, there are some key factors that make Linux inherently more secure. Linux's permission system is like a fortress, preventing users from performing operations on system files without proper authorization. This strict security boundary makes it harder for malicious files to infect the entire system. Another protective measure is the inclusion of an executable flag on Linux. Unlike Windows, files are not executable by default on Linux, adding an extra layer of security to downloaded files. And let's not forget about the centralized repositories for software on Linux. These repositories ensure that software is signed and verified, making it difficult for malicious alternatives to sneak in unnoticed. So, should you install an antivirus on Linux? Well, for desktop use, it's generally not necessary. The robust security measures built into Linux make it less vulnerable to attacks compared to other operating systems. However, that doesn't mean you should let your guard down. Always be cautious about the files you download and run, and make sure to keep your Linux machine updated regularly. In conclusion, Linux is a fantastic choice if you prioritize security. With its strong defenses and centralized software management, Linux offers a level of protection that's hard to match. But what about the future of antivirus software? As technology evolves, so too does the threat landscape. We can expect antivirus companies to continue innovating and adapting to new challenges. From AI-powered threat detection to blockchain-based security solutions, the possibilities are endless. And who knows, maybe one day antivirus software will be as essential for Linux as it is for Windows. So there you have it, folks. The truth about antivirus on Linux. Remember to stay informed and stay safe out there in the digital world. Until next time, take care. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. Thanks for watching.